All right, let's open up my drawer. <laughs> Woo! <gasps> Hi guys, it's Audrey, and today I'm gonna be showing you what is in my drawers. So I have a lot of drawers in my room, and I've already filmed what's underneath my bed, what's in my closet, what's in my backpack, and all of you guys will see what's in my drawers. So I'm gonna be showing you that today. And honestly, I don't know what's in my drawers. I haven't even cleaned them out, checked them, see what's inside for a while. So let's start over here. Welcome to my dust corner where I probably never vacuum. This is my nightstand um, drawer. <laughs> On top we have a few decorations. This was given to my to me by my friend. Watch this. Wow. Yes, so fancy. And then down below we have some gems like this and this. But these aren't inside my drawer. Oh, and then to match my whole beach themed room, I have a mermaid scrapbook. All right, let's open up my drawer. Okay, let's move this on my bed so you guys can see it better. Okay, you guys, so this drawer is full to the max. The first thing that I see is an empty headphone case for Apple, and then the headphones <laughs> with a random cord that I'll probably find use to someday in my life when I clean out this room, and this random cords. All right, I also have this bell from Tennessee, the volunteer state, <laughs> with the tag still on <laughs> from four years ago. <laughs> I also have some gum in here. Let's see if there's <gasps> the four pieces left. Giveaway time! Comment down below what you should earn this piece of gum. <laughs> Just kidding. That has been there for so long and I don't even know if I want it, but it's a piece of gum, so maybe I do want it. I'll probably eat them all after this video. Anyways, I have a New York City pin. What? Jordan and I always wanted to get a purse and put pins on it, so maybe this will go in my pin collection. I have my Fitbit that was replaced by my Apple Watch. I have my girls camp rock. I have a bunch of, <gasps> it's my old mermaid phone. This is actually my favorite phone I've ever had. And now I have a new phone, but I still like this one more because it's so much cuter and there's no cracks on the top. There's a little bit of chips, but that's like nothing compared to my phone that I have now. Um, guys, I don't know if I've ever read from this, but this is my dream journal <laughs> that I've, whoa, my handwriting. This is my handwriting and Miranda sings and Colleen Bellinger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'll make this into a video. Comment down below if you want me to read my dream journal. <laughs> wow, I have a lot of random things in here. Let's see, what should I pull out next? Hmm. Ooh, I have this Sequoia in Keynes Canyon National Park. Well worth the four dollar. Okay, I'll show a few more things before I go on to the, my next couple drawers. This is a dream catcher that has <laughs> something happened to it. <laughs> that looks broken. It looks like it caught a lot of dreams in my drawer. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got some ah! okay and then I've got a few other <laughs> metals <laughs> so and a necklace um, so this is for getting a 4-0 in middle school and this was my Florida Bandmaster Association concert band pin that I totally forgot that I earned so that just tells you that I never check my drunk drawer. All right, let's move on to the drawers underneath my clothes. Okay, first drawer. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I just saw all my silly bands. <laughs> so, this is my silly band collection. <laughs> I've got a wide variety from the stretchy golden sun that will probably stop because my head is too big. <laughs> so this is a necklace silly band. I've also got a few silly bands that go around your wrist 
And then also the finger slay bands. So here's a banana. So it's like a ring. Yeah, it was cool back in the olden days to wear these all up your arm. Like literally you'd have rubber bands going all the way up here. This was the elementary school trend. And these were all my silly bands. And guys, you better bet that there are no repeats in these. Like I made sure. And if I had a repeat, it goes on this keychain that I can trade with other people. And then I come back home and I think I had all of mine memorized, like what I like knew I had. So I just tried to grow my collection. So I've got a wide variety. I've got the regular silly bands. I've got the sparkle silly bands. This is the genie one from the mystical collection. And I've also got, ooh, oh, uh, glow in the dark silly bands. This is my person. I thought it was an alien, but maybe not. And then I've also got my tie dye silly bands water bottle. So someday my kids are gonna inherit all my silly bands. And we're gonna bring back the trend. <laughs> I'm keeping these, you better bet your bottom dollar. I didn't collect all these for nothing. Okay, you guys, so the next thing I see is my camcorder. This is like my museum, is my bedroom. So this is actually what inspired me to start YouTube, kind of. So back before we started making videos online, we used to film videos for our family and we do sketches and skits all the time and I would record on this thing. So I just press record <laughs> and I couldn't see myself so I don't know if it was in frame. So usually I have like my grandparents record me and we can get all the footage off of this. Oh, guys, comment down below if you want to see little Audrey and Jordan because, oh my gosh, this is like so sticky and gross and old, but it has great content. And then stuck to that earlier was feather hair extensions. So this is also another trend that happened like in middle school and everyone put feathers in their hair. And so I want to bring back this trend. Tell me if you ever did this when you were little or if you are little, tell me if you do this. <laughs> oh guys, look what I found, another piece of gum. <laughs> Well, this time I've got five! Five more subscribers get a piece of gum! Just kidding, you don't want that. I've got a bunch of little diaries from when I was little. And that's pretty much it for this uh, drawer. Oh yeah, also a couple years ago, all I wanted for my birthday was a, a lint roller and that's what I got. So. I'm a weird child. <laughs> all right, next drawer. Okay, so the first thing you see here is this bag full of fabric and that's because seven years ago I decided I was gonna make a blanket and I never finished. But I mapped it out so if I ever feel like finishing, here's the supplies. <laughs> I've got a lot of diaries in here. Oh, this is my Disney Cruise diary. Uh, you guys! Oh, yes. I told you, my room is a museum. <laughs> okay, you guys. There's a lot of dusties on this, but I got this when I was a wee little child. I was probably five years old. Wow, how many years ago was that, Pat? 10, 13 years ago. And I remember my aunt gave me this box and I put all of my treasures inside of here. So let's see what little Audrey thought was a treasure back then. Let's see. Oh, I told you guys! <laughs> it's my feather extensions! <laughs> These are the actual ones that I had in my hair. Ooh. I really want to do this again. Ooh, and there's some hairs attached to it that are blonde. I had blonde hair back in the days. <laughs> have this picture that says let your light shine and I have oh a slap bracelet such a 90s kid <laughs> I didn't grow up in the 90s <laughs> let's see ooh <gasps> this is the shell I almost drowned for <laughs> so one day we were at the beach and I was swimming and I saw the shell underneath the water and I was like oh I have to get it it's the perfect shell so I used my foot and I grabbed onto it <laughs> Then the waves came in and started taking it away, and so I went right underneath the water to grab it, and I was like tumbling underneath the waves. I was like, no, I have to get the shell. <laughs> but finally, I got the shell in my grasp, and I came up for air, 
and it was a scary time, but I still have the shell to its day. And look how perfect it is. Ah! <laughs> and I also have this little thing that goes on your pencils. They're so cute. Here's a lip balm that I've stored for ages. <laughs> I think mm, this smells so good. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. I honestly don't remember where I got this from. I think it was a gift, but look, it's a sparkly rock. And I loved it so much that I put a little heart cushion in it from Build-A-Bear Workshop. <laughs> now it's in here forever. Okay, and then lastly, there's a lot of stuff in here, but learn Chinese. Okay. <laughs> and lastly, I have my little leprechaun box that I made a few years ago. Let's see what's inside. Wow. What does it say? Oh, it says I love you in gold <laughs> that I made. Oh, this is what I used to look like. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We gotta zoom in on this <laughs> This is the last time I ever went in this box. I used to, so you know how you take school pictures and then they send you like a, a copy of what the real pictures would look like if you bought them. Well, I used to take those copies that are watermarked and I cut myself out and I put them in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the stuff is just random quarters and fake coins in here, so really valuable. <laughs> All right, let's close this memory box up and go on to the next one. This is gonna be the last drawer, but I think this video is gonna be so long because I have so many memories to tell you guys. So if you want to see my next video where I show you my drawers and my vanity, then comment down below because I feel like that would be super fun and another walk down memory lane. So, let's go on to this drawer. Okay, let's see. Wow! Okay. This drawer is more recent, so I have my, uh, uh my palm tree headband from Hawaii. And I also have a speaker for my jams. And my thickly diary <laughs> with Jordan, the only diary that we've ever finished. And my DSI case. <laughs> you guys, this thing was my life. You're getting to know Audrey really well. So I have, these are all my little games. And I have my pens and my car charger in here. Got my headphones. That's where your DSi would go, but my DSi had one of those Nerf cases on it, so you, when you drop it, it would break, so it would never fit in here. <laughs> yeah, I also had another case full of colorful pens, but I think I gave that to my brothers. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. Ooh, there's a picture in here. Oh, it's a family. <laughs> Look at that, it's even beach themed and I never put it up in my room. Oh, I think I tried, as you can see with the paper clip, <laughs> but it kept falling down every time because it's supposed to lay like this and not like this. Um, ooh, I have a lot of stuff in here. Let's see. Uh, I have some tights <laughs> from ballet class that I remember were actually free. Actually, no, this is from a hip hop class. They were actually free, and so I was like, ooh, I'm just going to grab a few because you always need some tights. And uh, apparently I never needed them because I quit. <laughs> so free tights. Comment down below why you should. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I also have a National Honor Society pin, two random sunglasses that should be in my sunglasses place, and my closet. And you know where that is if you watch the video. And ooh, Audrey's journal. Oh, this is. Whoa. This is from 2012. And a, a Let's Play it Recorders uh, music thing. I haven't looked at this since third grade. All right, and then I'll show you the last thing in my drawers. This is my girl's doodle book. <laughs> and if you know me, I am not an artiste. <laughs> so we're about to look at some really good masterpieces. Let's see. <laughs> Populate the penguin colony. <laughs> and she did. So it says, I'm hungry. Where's daddy? Then there's fish. And I drew another penguin. Because I copied that one. <laughs> and here's my wedding cake. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I was going to say the table looks really nice. But the, <laughs> the table was already drawn in. I was like, I was like, it looks like it worked really hard on the table and the stand and then it just got... If you 
notice my cake says BFFL? That's friends for life! <laughs> and has a random dude with a hair flying in the wind. And a girl with hair on only one side. Maybe she has a ponytail in. Maybe it's just the way she wants to wear it. to cry of laughter so if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already turn from red to gray I am so excited to film what's in my vanity drawers so tell me if you want to see that and we can have some more laughs together because there's a lot of laugh there's a lot to laugh about about me yep 